In today's video, I'll be trimming these VW Transporter Sun Visors. I'll be showing you a brand new part that I've developed, paired with some other custom parts I've used over the years to give these seemingly mundane items a complete makeover. Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some sun visors from a Volkswagen Transporter. Um, it might be a small piece that people forget about, you know, it's not really thought about, to be honest. Uh, but I've put a hell of a lot of work into these to get them as factory looking as possible and not to have that aftermarket retrim look um, that, you, that you do see. So I've developed some pieces for this. Uh, one is to keep the mirror, uh, and the other part is a new part that I've developed, inspired by an Aston Martin which is what the video is going to be about today. So with that said, let's crack on. So these sun visors are from a T6, but these can be found in a T5 all the way up to a T6.1. They're exactly the same sun visor, so this applies to all those models. These ones are actually for Aaron's T6. Um, I've got another video where I covered some lower dash panels, uh, the headliner and pillars and stuff like that for him. So I'll put that up in a card. If you want to go and check that out, I really recommend it. So these are going to be going Alcantara. I wanted to do a separate video because I put a lot of work into these. And as I said, I had that inspiration from Aston Martin. So I wanted to make that new part, uh, which is what this video is about. As you can see, I need to remove the original vinyl from the sun visors because the uh, the mirror is integrated uh, and the only way to get to it is to strip it all off. Uh, this just pops out, a little separate unit, and then it will get dismantled. The little sliding cover will be painted uh, so everything matches. Patterning the sun visors is relatively simple. Uh, it's the same both sides, so I only need to take one side. So just draw around it, and then I add my 10 mil for the sew allowance, uh, and that's pretty much it for that. Again, sewing it together is pretty straightforward. Exactly the same piece, so just one on top of the other. Just have a notch for your start and end points, and away you go. Now it's time to fight the cover on. Um, I once heard somewhere or read somewhere regarding seat covers and stuff. Uh, if it's not a fight to get on, it's too loose. Uh, and this is definitely a fight to get on. So I know uh, we're right there. Um, and it gives a nice, lovely, tight finish with no bagginess anywhere. Thank you. 
Now with the cover on, what I used to do was cut along this line here on both sides and then I used to uh, hand stitch it together. It wasn't a bad finish by any means, but there was always something I thought that could be done better. So uh, now I've had the inspiration and developed this new part. I'm really hoping it looks the part. Um, going off the Aston Martin one, it, it really finished it off nice. So um, we'll get the mirror cut out. The mirror's behind there, so we need to cut that out and then we can put our frame on. Um, and then I need to hand stitch across this line here to finish that part off. Um, and then we can put our new developed part on. Um, and hopefully it looks good. Here's a picture of the Aston Martin sun visor that I took for reference. Uh, and as you can see, here's the part that I made. Uh, now I model everything in Fusion 360. Uh, and then it's 3D printed, which means I need to remove the layer lines. So that's a lot of sanding, a lot of filler primer, more sanding, more primer over and over again until it's a nice smooth finish. And I finish it with a top coat of uh, black, a nice matte black. The story about how I got my hands on these Aston Martin sun visors is quite interesting. Uh, I had a customer who had an Aston Martin Signet. Uh, for those who don't know, a Signet is actually a rebadged Toyota IQ. Um, his sun visor was damaged, so he went to Aston Martin. They didn't sell them, so he had to buy one from Toyota. Uh, but the Toyota one isn't trimmed in Alcantara, so it was my job to match the original. Just like in my steering wheel video before this one, uh, I used my jig to mark and poke the holes for the hand stitching. And then I'll go through hand stitching away and just like before, leave it relatively loose. And then I'll come back, pull it tight before tying it off. I'm super happy with how that has turned out. Um, I think it looks great. It looks factory. Uh, it really does look the part. You got your mirror there as well. It just finishes it off. It really does look really, really nice. All that's left is to paint the hinge. I'll put that on. Um, but apart from that, I think that looks really, really nice. I hope you've learned something from this one and you've enjoyed it. Uh, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.